In this session, we'll look at a way to visualize the data in an InfraWorks model. Note that this session represents part one of a two-part series. Here in part one, we'll explore the concept of tooltips. Now I've got an InfraWorks model open on screen. If I orbit this up, you can see that I have just connected to a storm sewer manhole shape file to create all of these underground structures. Let's say that I'd like to assign a text-based tooltip to all of these objects. Well, since the tooltip applies to all of them, I'm going to double-click on the connection. And here in the dialog box, I'll select the Tooltip tab. I will then choose the HTML tab, and I'll click to place my cursor in the editor. And then I'm going to type Concrete Structure. I will then choose Close and Refresh. And after refreshing, if I hover over any of these objects, I will see my new tooltip. Now that we've seen how to assign a tooltip to all of the objects in a connection, let's look at how we can assign a tooltip to an individual object. For example, I'll select this structure, and then I'll right-click and choose Properties. Here in the Properties dialog box, I can find a tooltip setting. If I wanted to, I could click this ellipsis button. This would give me access to that same HTML editor. Let's close this. Instead, since I'm just creating a text tooltip, I'm going to type it here. I'll type Inlet, for example. I'll press Enter. I will then choose Update. We can close the Properties dialog box, and then I'll click on Screen to deselect. And if I hover over this structure now, we can see the specific tooltip. Note that if you assign a tooltip to an individual object, that tooltip will override the tooltips that are assigned to the group. In this case, I've been applying tooltips to pipeline connectors. That being said, this workflow applies to any of the objects in an InfraWorks model. Now that we've seen how to apply text-based tooltips, let's look at how we can use tooltips to report some of the data associated with a connected shapefile. To demonstrate this, I'm going to bring in a shapefile representing the pipes that connect these structures. I'll start by bringing up Windows Explorer. From here, I'll select this Storm Pipes shapefile, and I'll drag and drop it into the interface. I will then tell InfraWorks what this data represents. I'll choose Pipelines. I now have the option of mapping any of the attribution in the shapefile to the various properties of these pipes. In this case, my shapefile includes elevational data, so I'm going to leverage that. For the Elevation From property, let me open this up, I'm going to select my Invert Up attribute. I will then map the Invert Down attribute to the Elevation To property. Let's map the Pipe Size attribute to both the X and Y size properties. The shapefile includes a Description attribute, I will leverage that as well. And then lastly, let's assign the Su value to the Name property. SU represents the quality of the utility's location. There are four values, A through D. A SU value of A means the utility has a survey grade location. SU value of D means the utility was created from a traced map or just located by word of mouth. Finally, I'll select a style. I'll choose Concrete Pipe. I'll click OK, and then I'll choose Close and Refresh. Now that the pipes have been inserted, let's leverage some of that attribution in the tooltips. For instance, when I hover over one of these pipes, maybe I'd like to see the description that came along from the shapefile. To do that, I'm going to double-click on the connection, and then I'll go to the Tooltip tab. Let's go to HTML. I'll click to place my cursor in the editor, and then I'll come over and click the Insert Property button. I will then open the Properties menu, and I'll choose Description, and I'll click OK. When I'm finished, I'll choose Close and Refresh. Now, when I hover over these pipes, I can see that description attribute. Let's take it one step further. We'll add the SU data to the tooltip as well. Once again, I'll come back and double click on the connection. We'll go back to the tooltip tab. And to edit this tooltip, I am going to select the text here on the visual tab. I'll right click and copy this to my clipboard. I will then go back to the HTML tab. I'll click in here and right click and choose paste. I will then add a space, and then I'll type a less than symbol, br greater than symbol. This gives me a page break, so I can place one attribute under the other. I'll press enter to move the cursor to the next line. I will then type su equals, and then I'll come up and choose insert property. And if you remember, we mapped the su data to the name property. I'll select that and click OK. I will then come down and choose close and refresh. Now if I hover over a pipe, I can see the data from both of those attributes. Now that you understand the basics of creating a tooltip, you may be wondering if there are other ways to visualize the data within an InfraWorks model. The answer to that question is yes, and we'll explore another way in the next session. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.